Good morning, it is around 9 a.m. of day 14, I think. So we've got just about a week left. So I actually was planning to sleep in a little bit, maybe until um, nine or so. Um, but my body just woke up at 7.30, so I've been up since then. I got, um, I've been working on my paper for a little bit, uh, but breakfast just came. So today we have the tofu sandwich, some beans, a hard boiled egg, and some veggies. What a beautiful day it is today. The clouds are so fluffy. It's, it's been a couple of colder days in Hong Kong uh, with some rain and also some gloomy or overcast days. So I'm really glad it's uh, more beautiful today, even though I'm still inside, but I thought I would give my eyes a bit of a break <laughs> away from my screen. I'm at like 4,700 words for my paper, but I think I need another like 2,000 in order to make up the page count. So here we go. Good afternoon, it is just past 2.30 in the afternoon. So I'm actually not that hungry yet, but um, this lunch has been sitting here for a while, both the hotel's lunch and the food that my mom got me. So I'm gonna show it and then I'll eat it and then I'll keep working on my paper again. So here is the hotel's lunch. We've got lotus root, carrot, cabbage, and some rice. Okay, so just for the sake of time, I've already unpacked a little bit. Um, but first things first, we have hong lao ba tong, and so, oh, ten lao ba hong lao ba. So we've got, I think, carrot, corn, chestnut. I can't tell if that's radish. I think that's radish as well. So we've got this soup here. This is one of my favorite soups. It's super sweet, and I love chestnuts as well. So I'm very excited for this. Thankfully, it is still warm. And I've got some yogurt as well, two strawberry and two blueberry. Um, and I also just asked for ice, so that'll be good um, to put inside the cooler. This uh, morning I was talking to my mom. I was like, make sure you don't bring too much food. And she said, okay, this is a really small delivery. This is not a very small delivery. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, so on the left here, we have um, we have eggs, so zin dan, so just fried eggs. And then on the left here we have, I think, so this is a fried shrimp. And then I'm not sure what's on the other side. I think probably fried fish. So the orange is the fried shrimp. And the this one like on the side here, I'm not really sure what it is. Probably fried, uh, yeah, I'm guessing, sorry. Yeah, the orange is fried shrimp and I'm guessing the other one is fried fish. I will find out when I eat it. And then in this one, we have, oh, lots of choy. We have some gai lan. So lots of greens as well. And we've got two more soups. So I still have, I think, two more soups in my cooler, but I will definitely make one of these for lunch. So in this one, um, we have fig, hedgehog, mushroom, conch, fish, ma, and silky chicken soup. It doesn't say what it's good for. It says it is suitable for all types of body constitution. Uh, this one has Indian coconut fish maw and chicken soup for nourishment of yin and replenishment of lungs. Awesome. So thank you again. My mom brought this to me today and I'm gonna uh, um, now eat. So time to hoi tan sik fan. Even though there's no rice, sik fan means eat rice. There's no rice, but I'm still gonna have this food now. Bye. Okay, 7,134 words. So I have not edited the paper, it is just done and I still need to do my bibliography and everything but I'm just not going to touch it now because I still have to do my second paper and I thought it was due like Hong Kong Saturday but it's actually due like tomorrow so I need to get on it like right now. So I thought I would do a quick song of the day before I gear up and do work on my paper for the rest of the night. So today's song is 12 by Mirror. Uh, so this song came out yesterday and the music video came out last night and me and my friend watched it a couple of times together. Um, so I actually quite like this song. Um, it's not one of like the deepest, mo most artistic kind of piece, uh, pieces, but it's just a very nice kind of a Christmas song. So I guess a little bit of back background. Um, why I'm saying like I quite like this song is because I wasn't, I'm not the biggest fan of their last song, um, All In One. So I'm kind of like, I don't want to say critical, but you know, some fans are more like, I don't know, maybe loyal or I would say like they're almost like 
more blindly like following um, like certain bands or idols um, and like whatever kind of work they, they release they just say oh it's amazing and they'll like loop it like crazy for me I'm kind of like I will like the work if it's like good work to me and so I actually like this piece I wasn't like I said it wasn't the uh, biggest fan of their last song um, and their other two songs of the year I did like but I do like this one um, and so this one is about Christmas you can see how they're all dressed up kind of in winter winter-ish gear um, and so the 12 um, refers to them because there's 12 of them um, in the band but also 12 as in December and like 12 months of the year and so it's structured kind of like a love song saying how like the person singing wants to spend the holidays and to count down um, with the you know with their significant other or the person that they like um, but also in the comments um, in the description it talks about how this is kind of the band's gift to fans and saying like Merry Christmas thank you so much for supporting us here's our way of saying Merry Christmas here's a song for you um, so the music video is very fun and it's just a very Christmassy kind of a song there was like the bells and all the instrumentation. Um, it almost gives you kind of a feeling of like Mariah Carey's um, All I Want For Christmas. <laughs> Just kind of has this like nice light Christmassy vibe which has been yeah nice to listen to and it's also very very catchy. Um, there's parts of English in there as well with some rap and the main um, kind of refrain or like chorus also has, has some English. Um, and so yeah very very kind of a fun lighthearted song. Um, I'm kind of yeah, just remembering that I'll be here for Christmas in the hotel. So this is definitely my first time spending Christmas alone. I think as a child, I spent most of my Christmases not with my family, but with my friend Sarah, actually. Um, and yeah, so what I would usually do is spend um, Christmas Eve, which is my mom's birthday, um, with my family. And then I would actually go usually at night. Uh, like after spending the day with my family, I would go at night to my friend's house and we would have sleepover and then we would spend um, Christmas together. It's kind of like our, my tradition growing up. Um, and so I have this is definitely my first time having Christmas like alone, I guess. In February when I was in the other hotel, um, I spent Chinese New Year alone. Still gonna call my family for sure, you know, have a video call with them, but yeah, it'll be kind of interesting. Um, I'm hoping by Christmas I'll be done all my papers. I should be done all my papers by then. I should be done by tomorrow, like around noon actually. Hopefully, it'll be a long night. Um, but it just means that on Christmas, I think I'm gonna attend Christmas service, of course. Probably sing some Christmas carols on my own and then chat with my friends and family. And um, yeah, that's, that's kind of my plan for Christmas, even though I will be with my family. Um, but I will be out by New Year's Eve, thankfully, so I get to spend New Year's Eve and New Year's Day with, um, yeah, my, my loved ones. So I worked on paper number two for a little bit, but I'm gonna take a quick dinner break now. Um, so what we're dinner today is some rice, tomatoes, and um, tofu, and I think that's probably uh, winter melon? I'm not sure actually, or some kind of melon. Uh oh, it is just past 2 a.m. So I had like a two-ish, two and a half hour nap. I was supposed to have a quick power nap and then wake up and work on my paper, but I was really tired, I guess. Um, I think I'm gonna maybe work on planning my paper for another hour or so and then get some sleep and then just write it tomorrow. Um, but yeah, this is the end of <laughs> day, I think 13 or 14. Um, I think 13, I don't remember anymore. Thank you so much for watching the vlog and I will catch you tomorrow. Bye. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna be uploading this one late because I can't really afford to work on this right now uh, or edit this vlog right now until after I finish my papers.